today we'll be doing short row shoulders. Now in your pattern, you're probably fine that it's going to tell you to knit across some stitches and then bind off stitches for the neck and then knit across this uh, to the end of the row. And what we're going to do is on the wrong side, we'll begin uh, figuring out how we're going to make this sloped. And the reason I like using a, a uh, short row shoulder is because it lets me use a three needle bind off at the very end. So instead of the very similar sloped bind off where I would not have live stitches on the shoulder at the end, the short row shoulder will give me the live stitches at the very end and I can just use a three needle bind off to join uh, my shoulders. So in this example, let's say uh, my pattern is going to tell me to, you know, traditional pattern might say bind off four stitches on the wrong side, bind off four stitches um, on every wrong side row. So it'd be four stitches and then another four stitches uh, and then maybe the last one, you know, depending on how many stitches you have in the needle. But the last one in this case, let's just do four, four, and then four. Okay, so where a traditional pattern would tell you bind off four stitches three times, we're going to do this um, with short rows. And what that looks like is on the wrong side, let's see here, we're going to knit, I'm going to knit all the way across, And since the shoulder will be sloping, you know, if this is your, let's see, if this is the front, then this is your right shoulder, it's going to slant this way. So we want to work to the first turning point and turn the work. Okay, so that we work back this way, and then we're going to do it another time to the second turning point, work back this way. And then the final row, we're going to close all the gaps and then we'll end up with a nice sloped shoulder with live stitches. Okay, so let's see, where were we? Oh, we were on the right side. So in this example, we said the pattern might tell us to bind off four stitches three times. So in this case, we're going to knit to the first turning point. Oops, I did something here. That's all right. We said it would tell us to bind off four stitches, so that's four. So that's the first turning point. Turn the work. Slip one stitch from the left needle to the right needle. Purl back. And then we said we would <clears throat> work to the second turning point, which was, if we remember, we were going to bind off four stitches three times. So this was the first one, the first four stitches, the next one, one, two, three, four. So we're going to work to here and turn again.
that's our second set of four stitches we're going to turn again slip one stitch from left needle to right needle purl back <clears throat> So on this side, let's close these gaps. I don't know if you could see it, <clears throat> but I've got two little gaps here where I turned the work. Two little gaps. And now we have to close those gaps. To do that on this sh shoulder, we're going to knit to that gap. I'm going to pick up There is um, a bar of yarn below the row you just worked, and it's not a purl bump, okay? Don't get it confused with the back of a stitch that's on your needle. It is the bar between the two stitches. We're going to pick it up, and we're going to knit two together. Basically, we're going to knit that stitch that we just picked up, together with the next stitch on our left needle. Continue across to the next gap. Find that bar that's between, that's one row below and between the two stitches. And knit that together with the next stitch on your left needle. Continue across. Now we're done with that particular shoulder. Might be too hard to see. But now what you've got is a sloped edge. There's no more gaps, you can't see them. You've got a sloped edge that's really nice for three needle bind off for a shoulder. Okay. And then let's do the other side. And scissors. Let's say we're working on the other side, right? So your pattern, since now we want the shoulder to slant this way, right? Because this is our neck in the middle got one shoulder slanting this way we want the other shoulder to slant this way okay so what we're gonna do is well, let's see let's just join this yarn here and then knit across Okay, starting on the wrong side row this time because we're slant. We want more um, of the rows by the neck. So we're going to purl to the first turning point, which is, if you remember, uh, our pattern might have told us to bind off four stitches. One, two, three, four. So this would be one, two, three, four. That's our first turning point. I'm going to turn the work, knit back, oops, I'm sorry, turn the work, slip one stitch from the left needle to the right needle, and knit back to the end of this row. Okay, we're going to purl to the next turning point which was another four stitches. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, whoops, too many. Four stitches, right? So one, two, three, four was the first set. One, two, three, four is the second set. That means I am turning. 
slipping one stitch from the left needle to the right needle, knitting back. And this time, since it's the opposite shoulder, we're going to be closing the gaps from the purl side, the wrong side. All right, so I want to purl to the gap. I want to pick up, I'm going to pick up this working, it's this bar, if you remember, this bar between the stitches. And this time, I'm going to purl these two together through the back loop. And I'll tell you why I do that. When we turn it around, you'll see why. All right, so now we're at the second gap. I'm going to pick up this bar, not the purl bump, but the bar between the stitches and purl these two together through the back loop. I'm going to And now you'll see, so I have another, another shoulder here that's slanted in the opposite direction, right? We've got our neck in the middle. We've got our shoulders slanting. And the reason I purl those two through the back loop is because it real, you really cannot see it on the right side. That's the only reason. I found that when I just did a regular purl two together, it left a twisted stitch that was very visible on the right side, so I don't care for that. But now you've got live stitches, you've got a sloped shoulder, and you can use three needle bind off to um, join your shoulders.